Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are once again. Yes, it's time for another episode of the Spirit Hub. So today I'm reviewing Pac Donavio's, what's all this time, the red wine cask. So stay tuned and you'll see my reviews after this a quick intro. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I found this the other day, as you can see from my previous video, I've already reviewed Pacto Nabio's Inso Turn Cask. So you probably know a little bit about it. You can see the link in the description below and also it'll be on the video at the end. So this one I discovered the other day for about 30 euros. Extremely well priced, but this one, instead of st storing it in Soturn Casks for three, for three months, they stored it in red wine casks. And I can tell you straight off the bat, it is delicious. As a quick reminder, Pacto Navio is a rum. It's Cuban rum produced by Havana Club. Uh, it's done to celebrate that when uh, there was a peace treaty between England and the European colonies, the French started sending so turn casks, red wine casks, down to Jama down to the Caribbean. They went down full of red wine. They thought, well, do we do better with them? So they filled them up with rum to age it, and on the on the way back, and they would s then sell it in France and the rest of Europe. But on that journey across, it picked up the flavors and the characteristics of the wine casks that it was stored in. Now this, I mean, stored in red wine casks, it has that distinct nose of the tannins that you find in red wine. It's uncanny and the flavor as well, as you know, whenever I like to try a new rum, I always have to drink it, open up the bottle, pour it in my glass and sample it. Now, as a red wine drinker, and I do love a good red wine, I love the full body tannins and also I love my smooth, elegant rum. Now this, is just full of all the things that you're looking for. It's got that typically aged rum flavor to it. As you know, in Cuba, you cannot call rum rum unless it's been aged for a minimum of three years. So I'm not sure exactly the age of this. On the back, unfortunately, it's been covered by uh, a barcode and it's all in French, which as you know, I can understand a bit of French, but my French is not too great. It's all a little bit French to me. But uh, for my last videos, everyone seems to like the fact that I do them on location. So when I go for hikes these days, I will do every new episodes all the time. And uh, my friend is now throwing flowers into the mix to make it prettier to show that actually we are in fact in wildlife. Thank you very much. Uh, you know who you are. So on the uh, Spirit Hub scale, which will be around here somewhere, Bear in mind, I've already had a couple of glasses of this. It goes extremely well with a good cigar. Uh, as you know, I'm a fan of my Nicaraguan tobacco. So I had it with a uh, Davidoff Nicaragua. And yes, some people might not think that I know what I'm talking about. That's up to you. You know who you are. We all have our own opinions. Uh, this is much more of a joy for me. Yeah. So I'm here on the foot health, on the outsides of Monaco and latter be viewing it beautifully. Anyway, so on the Spirit Hub scale, which will be around here somewhere, uh, it's gonna be, of course, a birthday suited or rocket. You can drink, actually, when you rock it, it actually diminishes the red wine flavors a little bit. Uh, if you're looking for to get the uh, full impact of the red wine cask, absolutely just birthday suit it. As you can see, I'm doing it right here. And I have to say, after a good hike, it's a great thing to carry with you. So if you're hiking, if you're skiing, back to Navio, red wine cask, absolutely. Maybe check out with a new scale. Let me know your thoughts. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please also write down in the comments below what you think I should do next. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining this. I've been the rum director. You guys have been great. And please, as always, don't forget to hashtag rum for your life. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.